All right, so you did it. You bought a Carnage Dynamic, and now you're looking for a little bit of help on how to set it up, how to take care of it, what to do. But I'm here today to take you through all that. So let's have some fun together. All right, first things first, let's talk about the bow. Since you're new to archery, you might not understand everything about this bow, so let's talk about it. Number one, this is your cam. How this is gonna work is you have a little bit of a mod system on here, right here, and this is gonna rotate. We just unscrew these two bolts, and then we can move this and rotate to fit you and what size you need. You do need to figure out your draw length. All right, guys, to find your draw length, you just need a measuring tape, and you need to be standing parallel to a wall. Um, so we need a wall because we're going to take our fist and put it against the wall and we just want to be comfortable when we do it So I'm just kind of walking up to where I hit that wall without doing any like stretching for it or anything like that Now we're gonna go like this and I'm basically gonna take I want it to be the corner of my mouth So basically what I'm doing right now without stretching my left arm too much I just want to keep it kind of nice and relaxed. I want to just kind of pull this and put my finger Where it should be and mine says 29 so I should be around a 29. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, but what it does do is get you to a 28 or 29, then you can adjust the bow and then figure that out. Now your arm, this arm is very important that it's straight out because what you wanna do is hold your bow like this, but this bow, this arm should not be cockeyed like this to where it's stretching out because you're gonna hit your arm with the string. You always want a little bit of an angle, nice and loose, and then you're gonna draw back to the corner of your mouth. And that's why I put this to the corner of my mouth. That's not my way of doing it, guys. I saw that on John Dudley's video, so that's why I want to give you a tip from a pro on how to do it and find your own. So let's say you're at a 29 like me. You'll be able to look through the picture window here and see 29, and that, that's how you know you're on. You want to do that on both sides. So that's number one to get your draw length. You're going to assemble your stabilizer and your wrist sling onto the bow. Uh, the wrist sling goes just like this, pretty easy to do goes down and out and then once you get this adjusted you can keep these down like this you can cut these and burn them you have a lot of options there on how you want to do that so let's say we have our draw length figured out already the mod has been adjusted we have all of our stuff on here already which i believe this actually had this all on here ready to start with our site housing is definitely too far to the right as you can see on mine if you look at my picture window it's into my into my riser so i already know i need to slide this a little bit this way and my rest is already situated. So it already looks very square here. And you can tell by looking at these two bolts here, you see those bolts right there? We want to make sure our arrow is pretty much in line with those two bolts. That's what we're looking for. Then we want to look at our arrow like this on a downward to see if it makes sense where it's at on the shelf. Is it in the center of the shelf? That's what we're trying to do. And we want to make sure it's not going to hit or brush against this side of the shelf. Um, but that's what we're trying to do. So right now when I put it in there, it looks to me as though it might need to go a little bit this way. Again, this is just looking at it. There's tools you can get to help make sure you're square. But to me, when I look at it, I feel like I need to come more this way. This device I, I have here is a, it's kind of actually a bicycle device. It'll hold the bow perfectly. Check the link in my bio if you want to get one of these to hold your bow. It's only like just over 30 bucks. It's a great deal. And this works excellent for archery stuff. You can see I can move everything however I want, pull it towards me. As I'm doing right now, I'll push it out and I can just lock it out with a simple push of this lever. So we're gonna try to line this up the best we can. I'm just gonna eye it for now and just see where that puts me. That looks pretty straight right there. So as you can see, when I loosen that, it goes back and forth. So all I'm trying to do is make sure it's as straight on the shelf as possible. Again, I wanna make sure it's in line with these two holes back here. So when I look at it from this angle, it looks straight with those holes. Right now, it looks pretty good to me left and right. Let me take another look from behind. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. So what we're gonna do is tighten that up. I'm using a 532 Allen wrench to do that. As you can see, it tightens it, it actually moves a little bit, so you wanna make sure you got that right. So that's good there. Also, while we're over here looking at this, when you're firing your bow, call vein clearance right here. We don't want our vein touching these, these cables. So in this rest, we're going to just cock it just a tad, just to make sure we're clean as we go by the cables. We don't want to have anything hit and deflect our arrow. So I want you to notice this very important note right here. It says, do not turn more than eight turns out of your pocket. So just keep that in mind. So keep that in mind. So you don't want to go more than eight full turns on this screw on top and bottom. And you can see the gap here. I took this one down four turns and that's where it got me. And the screw was, you could see the screw right here. And then when I did that, it pulled it back. We're now going to adjust our sight housing to get it inside our picture window here. 
and then we can slide this back and forth. So with this one, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna eye it, take a look at it. I'm gonna look at it from behind where I'm shooting to see that I'm somewhat in line. This looks pretty good from right here from what I can see it's in line with the arrow for now. We're gonna probably have to adjust that as we shoot our bow. So I'm just gonna tighten that for now. Now this is a lot of plastic stuff on this bow guys, so just be very careful. Don't overturn or over correct anything, okay? So they make this peep slidable, meaning we can move it up and down on our own. We don't have to do much. So uh, to try to get it to fit me, I'm gonna move this knot up as far as I can. I'm gonna then slide this up as far as I can. And to try to fix that twist, I'm gonna bring this up as well from below. Let's see how I kind of turned it back a little bit. So you're gonna get that creep a little bit, it's just how it goes with this stuff. But it's okay, you'll learn and you know we're all learning together. So you don't need a press to do this, which makes it nice. If you can't get your turn to fix very good, there's, uh, you can also do this, just take your tube off. We're just gonna re-cinch the tube. You'll see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop the tube off. Now that's going this way more, we're gonna put that tube back on from this side. There we go. See, I kind of fixed that perfect. There's also a couple other products you can buy that are not related to Trophy Ridge, but could help you. One of those would be the uh, nose button from the Bomars and also the peep tuner. So two extra items that can help you get your knocking points and all that. All right, guys, real quick, I just wanna show you the quiver they give you with it. They already gave it to me all ready to go. It literally just gonna go down and then, and then it's gonna go down in this and then turn and smack in like that. Down and clip in just like that. And then you just simply hit this button to lock this down so it can't pop back out. But very simple. Uh, this you'll use for hunting. It's got a nice little hanger on it. It's not an expensive quiver, but it's good enough for what we're doing here. All right, so let's go ahead and try our bow out real quick. Again, we adjusted the draw length to fit me. We adjusted the peep, hopefully, to fit me. We don't know yet. We're gonna, we're gonna check that. And then we adjusted our rest and our sight. That's about it, guys. There's not like a lot more to do here, so let's give it a whirl. And we adjusted our weight. Oh, and the sight peep is perfect for my spot. So I'm going high, okay? We'll do another one just to make sure. Let me show you guys again real quick here from this angle. Um, now we're gonna just take a look, observe the peep here. So we can see the draw length fits me perfectly. I'm right into the bow, my fingers around the trigger. I can see perfectly through the peep. It's perfectly aligned with my eye. All right, I'm gonna aim dead center of the target, fire, and it went in the same spot. It went high and a little bit right. So what that means is we gotta take our sight and move it up and right. So two steps we're gonna make to get it dead on. So I'm gonna loosen this and then push my housing up a few notches. There's notches on here you can see. I'm gonna put it right there for now, we'll test that. And I gotta do the top one here to bring it right. And again, there's notches. I'm just slightly turning it so I can see the notches. Okay, so we moved our housing a little bit right and a little bit up. Also keep in mind when you guys do this, you, you know, you wanna have the arrows you're gonna be hunting with and using, you know, you wanna have the set the same. I'm using a lot of different arrows. That's not always the best precision you wanna have the arrow you're gonna use so you can test that arrow. And every time you shoot these bows, you should shoot three shots every time to kind of get an idea where they're all going. So that's the key. So let's see what this one does. Okay, so we're still going high, so we're gonna have to go higher. So I noticed for me, now that could be different for you, I'm already pretty high on my housing, so I'm actually gonna move my pin up instead of my housing this time around. There's little slots there so you can see where you're at. All right, so we just moved the pin itself up and now you can see there's a distance there on my pins. So let's go ahead and try that. A lot of this stuff is just back and forth, back and forth, playing around, testing. I mean, it's okay, it takes time, but it's fun. And to be honest, you guys should know how to do as much as this as you possibly can yourself. That's why I'm encouraging you to do this bow setup yourself, try to do it yourself. If you have problems, go to your local pro shop. It's always very important to support them regardless. So if you need products you didn't get here when you buy it online, you know, go to the pro shop to grab it. And also have them help you if you don't really know or you're nervous to do it yourself, that's okay too. All right guys, that is very successful. This one was an outlier. We shot before an adjustment. And as you can see, we got three in the circle and that's what we're going for. And that's how we know now that this bow is ready to rock. We are dead on exactly what we're hoping to get out of this bow. And as you can see, it wasn't that hard to do. You just keep adjusting slow, slow adjustments on your sight make it very easy. But this is what we're trying to accomplish. Even tighter than this would be better. So I hope this video helped you guys. And now you understand how to set up your Bear Carnage Dynamic. Get it right on their website. If you use the code BHP2024, 
this is a great option for you or someone you know that wants to get into archery, please share this video with them. Help them get into the sport of archery at a very good price, especially with bear archery. So we'll see you next time right here on Bowhunter Planet.